Jamie Hall, thank you so much for joining me today. I got a copy. So beautiful. Your new book, Alternative Alchemy. This is like, she's thick, Jamie. So I'm excited to talk about what's going on in here. Can you talk a little bit about your history and what inspired you to put this together? Yeah. So um, I have, um, I, I'm, a, I'm a librarian by training. So I'm a person who loves history and um, I've long since um, gotten into like, you know, a subject and kind of like studied it to death. So herbs and, and um, you know, natural medicine, healthy foods, that kind of thing have been something that have been really interesting to me for a long time. And um, when my first child was born and I was kind of trying to navigate, it was more postpartum anxiety for me than depression, but they're all kind of lumped together. So I, I really wanted to try to avoid a, like a typical pharmaceutical path and instead got into the idea of, you know, let food be thy medicine. Um, so that was, that was kind of the origins of this. That's very cool that you took your li library studies and mixed it with that. I love that. And CBD has definitely become, it seems a little bit more popular as time goes on. Why do you think that is? I think that, um, it's, it's, it's been difficult for people to separate the stigma of THC from CBD if you're just quickly kind of looking at it. So I think it's taken this long for people to understand that, you know, it's not the same thing. It's not your, you know, 1960s, like fall into the sofa type of, of weed. Um, it's, it's a different thing entirely that it's, it's very, it's very much like health oriented and supplemental. Um, but, but helpful, really helpful. I mean, it, it makes a big impact. So speaking of that, what are the physical and mental impacts or things that it can help? So CBD can help, I mean, pretty much anything. It's, it's one of the, like what I particularly like about it, um, as a naturally occurring thing, um, when I've studied all of this, like different types of, of, of herbs and things like that, the really nice thing about things, um, before we start meddling with them and refining them too much is that they're not nearly as potent as they become when we start tinkering and removing things and adding things in and whatever. So um, there, it's just much more gentle and mild. Um, it can help with inflammation. It can help with anxiety. Um, it it um, overall affects um, what has been coined the endocannabinoid system. And so um, even if you don't use any kind of cannabinoid, you still have one. And um, it's your body's ability to kind of regulate itself. Um, so I like to say that CBD is sort of not so much what you feel. It's not something that's going to bowl you over, but it's what you realize you're not feeling after you continue to use it. So you just feel a little more mellow, a little more even, and, and it does kind of build up. Absolutely. And I feel like a lot of people can use that in 2020 for sure. So are there different types of CBD? And if so, like what are the differences between those? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, that's kind of a, a big question. There, there are lots of different kinds and types, and they're, they're, they're experimenting, you know, and, and figuring things out every day. Um, but the, the biggest part for me is the idea of full spectrum, which is again that naturally occurring. You're, you're not, you know, you're. It's, I kind of like to think of it in terms of like whole milk and, and half and two percent and whatever, like. It's, it's the naturally occurring one with the cream on top. Like you're not taking anything out. You're not trying to make it low fat. You're just accepting it as is and knowing that maybe that naturally occurring state undiluted is, is the best. So there's also, you know, CBD isolates and things like that. Um, and, and they're, like I said, kind of working on identifying different combinations of CBD. Like I think there's like CBN and stuff like that, things that are supposed to really work for sleep and appetite. Um, so it's, it's, they're, they're really working on it. Interesting. You learn something new every day. And if I wanted to start perhaps incorporating CBD into my recipes. What advice do you have for that, Jamie? Yeah, um, I, I have to say that my favorite way to start originally was with uh, drinks because you can, 
you can decant them, pour them out for yourself, and you can kind of experiment. And if it's not quite enough, you can add a little bit more. Um, you can start really small. So it's it's very forgiving. You can individualize it in a way that you you can't always do with with something like you know, a brownie or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, cookies are, are a nice way too, because a lot of them you can add after you've baked them. So you can, you know, if you have a person that, that just really feels everything and, you know, has a pretty low tolerance just in general, you can, you can start by dosing very lightly for that person while you can cater to the other person and add a few more drops. Customizable, very cool. So out of this book, Jamie, I got to ask, what are your personal favorite recipes? What do you use the most in your life? So my all-time favorite recipe in that book is, is uh, tried and true and very simple. It's the peanut butter oat bars. Okay. Um, we make them in my, I have two small children. And so um, I regularly do those like with out CBD too. They're like a lunchbox favorite. So it's, it's um, a lot of maple syrup as the sweetener. So no refined sugar. Um, the, the drink, I get requests for the drinks more than anything else from other people. So the turmeric latte and the black sheep latte are definitely two favorites. Um, and then the chocolate chip cookies. There are two different types of chocolate chip cookies in there. There's flat, flat and crispy, I think, and, and then a rustic one, and both of them are pretty awesome. Amazing. Well, I can't wait to break into this bad boy. I gotta ask, since it's the holiday season, are there any recipes in here you recommend for the holidays? Absolutely. There's um, a spiced apple cider that's like Christmas in a crock pot. Um, and there's also a vegan eggnog recipe, which is really nice. Oh, so great, Jamie. I'm so glad you put this together. I'm excited. And on top of the book I'm going to enjoy, we got three more that we're going to get to give away to some lucky winners around here. So I'm sure it will be loved by many. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. Thank you so much for having me. All right, take care of yourself, Jamie.